Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to another beer review. Now, we've got a brew dog beer, um, a seasonal brew dog beer. Um, I haven't had this one before, and it is a dark lager. Black lager, they're calling it, and it is the brew dog zeitgeist. There you go. That's a hell of a word, isn't it? Idio. I'll, I'll read it to you in a minute. 4.7% ABV. Give it a spin. There's the the usual stuff you get on your brew dogs. Some, you know, bizarre narrative of someone's imagination within the brewery. <laughs> There's another bit there. Uh, suitable for vegans, is it? Yeah. Store cold, drink fresh. That's indeed I'm going to do that. So, I shall, first off, this is a idiosyncratic black lager. Idiosyncratic. I bet you can't say that after a few of these. I bet you can't bloody spell it either. Um, Zeitgeist. Black lagers rock. Zeitgeist takes an age-old classic, a forgotten masterpiece, and spins it, gives it, an, gives it a contemporary spin. Oh, it does. Uh, a transcontinental schizophrenic beer combining a classic Czech black lager, your Budvar black, uh, base, and a high octane hit of West Coast American hops. Expect a smoky nose with it. I'm not going to go into that. It's, 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 it's the same smoke a lot on this. Smoky grain, chocolate on the palate, spicy dry finish. All your drinking, all for your drinking pleasure and hours. Then it goes into the normal brew dog thing about a uh, brew dog we brew uncompromising, bold, irreverent beer, blah 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 blah. I've, I've said it every time in every brew dog review I've done, but I'm not going to do it in this one. And as you can see, there it's a seasonal. Um, what else does it anything good? There's a load of Chinese writing, Korean writing, or whatever. There you go, uh, chicken chow mein, and that. So, there you go. This is an idiosyncratic black lager. Let's crack this bugger open. Oh, by the way, this is this is this is called a bottle opener. Um, you know, this is thing from thing of the past, really. But you can pick them up still, bottle openers, because everything's in cans these days. So let's all oh, done that well. That is the crown we all know. Let's see if it's smoky. Mm, there's there's a tiny hint of smoke there. A bit of cocoa comes to mind. It smells a little bit porterish to me. It's got them, you know, stouty porterish type of notes, chocolate, coffee, that type of thing. Um, but you know, we will find out if it. So let's pour out. Now I don't mind black lagers. Uh, I like the that Japanese one, the Asahi black lager. I enjoyed that one, and I, I, I think I did like the Budvar black. Um, yeah. So as as you can see, I'm waffling on. Um, that is black, um, off white, top compacted head there, uh, which isn't going anywhere. Slight hint of metallic, only a tiny hint of metallic to say about it. You do get a hint of chocolate there, not much. Cocoa, more. I'm going to go in. Cheers. We're going again. For me, you do you do pick up a slight bit of smokeness there. But for me, the taste comes alive on the back end. Um, after you swallow it, the taste comes out. There's a warm, 
spice, smokeness there on the back end. Within the mouth, it feels relatively smooth. A little bit nondescript in the mouth. Maybe a bit of cocoa there, not much. It's on the back end. It comes alive. It leaves a nice quite warming, spicy, smoky even um, note on, on it, and yeah, it's it's rather nice, what did they say, smoky grain, dark fruit, I'm, for me, am I picking up dark fruit, I suppose there is dark fruit there, but for me that's that's way in the background, that's, for me that's, that's not there as much as the smokeness, um, slightly dry, Yes, um, like again, that smoke just comes comes alive with that kind of dry finish on the back end. It is rather pleasant. Yeah, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, though. Hmm, it's it's doing. You do pick up a grainness there. As it, as you drink it, you do you do pick up um, the smoky grainness. It, it is very pleasant, actually. Um, I quite like this. Um, it's not the like I say, it's not the best black lager I've had. Um, but it's, it's, it's still rather, rather good, you know. Rather, rather good. Going one more time for the road. It's going down a treat, it really is. Um, yeah, it's, it's opening up with a little bit more of a grainness about it as you drink it. The dark fruit notes, I'm not really picking them, but other people might. But all in all, um, boys and girls, this ain't a bad one. This ain't a bad black lager. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's a it's a great beer. It's 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 nice. It really is. Highly recommend people to pick that up while you can because it's a seasonal. Uh, Brewdog Zeitgeist. Pick it up. Give it a go. Yeah, enjoyable, enjoyable black lager. And on that score, thank you for watching this review. Please subscribe. Murder me in the comments. So see you boys and girls on my next one. See ya.